Hi there, Spoonies. Okay, I'm going to be setting up the camera here, and today's video is going to be pretty interesting. I was asked to do a video about some celebrities that have chronic illnesses, so I have 10 of them for you. They're pretty interesting, so you've got to watch this. I hope those of you that celebrate Christmas they had a really good one. Here's one of my little Christmas presents, a big old coffee cup. I have my notepad because you guys know me. The first one I have is a name, Sinead O'Connor. Sinead O'Connor? Is that how you say it? Oh, I remember listening to her singer. Um, you guys remember her from Nothing Compares to You? Nothing compares to you. That one. But I guess she announced retirement 2008 due to fibro. Second one is Morgan Freeman. Awesome actor. You, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen him before. Now his fibromyalgia set in after a car accident in 2008. Okay, number three on the list, I, Susan Freely. Um, you might know her from The Bold and the Beautiful, um, like the daily soap operas. Wasn't big into that, although back in the day my mother was. She isn't anymore. Of course, because I'm no longer at home, right? And she ended up retiring at 2007. Okay, number four, Michael James Hastings. He was an actor. He actually retired because of fibromyalgia too. Then he became a national spokesman for fibromyalgia, so I thought that was pretty cool. He played Captain Mike on The West Wing. I guess now he promotes some kind of supplement that he believes to help fibromyalgia. Help. Not cure, but help treat fibromyalgia. Okay, number five on the list is Joe Guest, a model. Five, was finally diagnosed with fibromyalgia at 2007. Okay, number six is Rosie Hamlin. She was a big singer back in the 60s. She was known for the song Angie Baby. It's just like heaven being here with you. Here's one out of a few that I've read that was on the cover of Fibromyalgia Awareness magazine in 2004. She decided to give up on touring and started a profession into painting. I don't butcher this one's name so bad. Her name is Janine Garfello? Garfello. I'm not sure, but you guys probably recognize her. She's a comedian slash actress, but she does, she does stand up. I don't know if she does today anymore. She's done quite a bit. Number eight, Anthony, actually from Red Hot Chili Peppers, the main singer. Sometimes I feel like my only friend. A pretty big band. He was actually hospitalized recently this year. I think it was back in May. They had a, they had a call off a concert because he was having some health issues. He has CFS. Now, I read that Stevie Nicks is another one. find a bunch on it. Um, I did a bunch, a bunch, and a bunch of reading, but I still couldn't find any. Let me know if you know anything about that. Okay, last one is Mary McDonough. I hope I'm saying that right. She's an American actress known for the series The Waltons. After 10 years, she was finally diagnosed with fibromyalgia and then later diagnosed with lupus. All right, you guys, that's the top 10. I thought this was really interesting. Um, some of those surprised me, like Anthony from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Tell me what your thoughts are, and would you like another one? I was thinking of doing one with more of a variety of invisible illnesses, you know, mental health, because there's those invisible illnesses that are also mental illnesses, too. So let me know your thoughts on that, and I'd love to do those videos. Um, it's really interesting to see what we can find, and it's nice to hear some of them are speaking out about it. And make sure to give me that thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new here. Oh, don't forget to check out the hashtag if you only knew challenge. It'll be at the end of this video and you can just click on it and watch it. I'd love for you to be a part of it. I, I have some people writing in. Remember, you can do short clip videos. Okay, I'll let you go there. I will see you guys next video. Bye. If you want to see some crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, for sure it's so funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh.